MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Into the box now, Ahmed Rosario. He will lead this one off today. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Not an altogether bad afternoon for baseball. 54 <laughs> degrees here at first pitch. The count now at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. A bouncer to the left side, gloved by Castro. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. Lifetime against Donibel Sanchez. An impressive four for seven. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Hit hard on the ground is short. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. Batting third. The second baseman. Number six. So now to the plate. Jeff McNeil lifted the other way out to left center. After it is eaten. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Next up from New York, Pat Pete Alonzo. He takes first his first baseman. cuts in this one with a man at first and two Alonso. away. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So striding in, Trey Turner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 home is taken for ball two. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Hit softly on the ground to third. Throws in time and that's out number one. Adam Eaton digging in next. Batting 300 for the series. Three for ten. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Here's Howie Kendrick. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. This one runs a little too far in, ball two. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And he fouls this one off. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soto is there and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in, Wilson Ramos. And he has not gotten off to the start he had hoped for with the bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the gate. Heading out toward shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Into the box, Yoenis Cespedes. 
And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Three and one to the Mets left fielder. There's Jake Marisnik. He'll get his shot next. The three one. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And this is fouled at the plate. Another full count pitch home. Popped him up. Zimmerman moving to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. No score here as we play inning number two. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So next will be the four hole for the Nationals. Juan Soto. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 3 1. Popped up. Rosario into shallow left. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. Two gone. Striding in now for the Nats. Kurt Suzuki. He's three for seven in the series coming in. 1-1. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. And another foul ball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So here now is the pitcher, Stephen Matz, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A-B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. Now that third baseman. Into the box now, J.D. Davis. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Throw over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Rosario, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Down the first baseline. There's one. Relay to Zimmerman, the double play to end the inning.
Stepping in, Starlin Castro as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. And now for Washington, Eric Thames is yet to get into the hit column in the series, 0 for 7. Ball two. One out, nobody on. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw gets him, two down. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Anibal Sanchez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Now the one and one pitch. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Now at the plate, Jeff McNeil. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Grounded to first. Zimmerman has it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now that Next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Keith Alonso. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Popped him up. Suzuki is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in, Michael Conforto. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Two and two the count. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Wilson Ramos would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. The three one. Three and two, full count. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in, Trey Turner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A bouncer up the middle. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And the next to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. The 2-1. 
Kentucky as a sinker that catches the zone. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Into the box now, now Howie back. Kendrick. Second baseman, Howie Kendrick. The 1-1. One, one. High in the air out to center field. Mariznick on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Plate, Joanna Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Three two pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Stepping up to the plate, Jake Marisnik comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. The pitcher, Stephen Matz, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1, and they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. To second for one, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Number one. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Here now the 2-2. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Here now is Juan Soto. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Mariznick is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the power hitting first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Now the 2-1. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Cespedes is after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. So here's Starlin Castro. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 2 1 home is a sinker that misses for a ball. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Right fielder. So two on with two away, and in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. The set, and the 1-1. One, one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The set, and the 2-2. Two, two. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Into the box, J.D. Davis. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Down the left field line and deep, and this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. 
One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Just hung in there on that one. Bases are empty, one man out. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three calls, and there are two down. So here's the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. No hits to this point. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Anibal Sanchez, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. One and two now as that one's fouled off. On the ground to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Here now is Trey Turner, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. He'll get it into second, and he'll get in there safely. At the plate now, Adam Eaton. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing it. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Slow little roller to third. Davis has got it. Throw on to first and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Michael Conforto. It was a walk in his last trip. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now that Striding in, Wilson Ramos. He was retired oh. via the ground ball last time up. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Here's Yuena Cespedes. It was a walk in his last trip. Two out, nobody on. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball and he missed it. It's three and one now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Hunter Strickland will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. In now, Jake Marisnik. With too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. To the plate now, Stephen Matz fouled away. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Juan Soto. 
He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Oh, yeah. Zimmerman. Swing and a liner. Foul. Ready on one and two. Hit to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first out. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Here's the one and two. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Line toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Brad Brock has given the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. At the plate, Starlin Castro. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. Smoke toward the hole. Dive, but it's off his glove, and the run should score. Throw to first, not in time, as the run is across to score. The right fielder. Stepping in now, Eric Thames. Weak grounder down the first baseline. He's got it. And the throw to first will take care of him, but it comes at a cost as the tying run is in to score. As Drupal Cabrera will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. In there for a called strike, three and two now. Sent on the ground out to second. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Austin Voss has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50. Ready to begin the eighth. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Ahmed Rosario. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Up next to that, the third base ball. Into the box now, J.D. Davis. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Three and one to him now. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. The batter. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. And it's one and two. Grounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly by Zimmerman. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. And he is in there. Bases full now following the error. And next will be the imposing power bat, Pete Alonso. 
off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 3-2 to two ball game. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and a second run's going to score. Daniel Hudson is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. At the plate now, Michael Conforto fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On the ground to the left side. And that is through into left field. A base hit on to the third baseman, but it's off the mark. And now this ball's going to wind up out of play. And that will compound okay. matters even the further. So now to the plate, Wilson Ramos hit out towards second, gloved by Kendrick. And finally, there's the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Joannis Cespedes. He singled his last time up. Three runs already home here. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And they'll add one more on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 6-2 to two ball game. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And up next, the center fielder, Jake Marisnik. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. In his career, Marisnik brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. High in the air out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Edwin Diaz will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Brandon Nimmo will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number nine, Brandon Nimmo. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Adam Eaton. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but. No one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The second baseman, Howie. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. In there, the base hit. Into the box, one Soto. Line towards center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Wonder Suero enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in now, Brandon Nimmo.
three one taken strike two might have been taking all the way right there that pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate and this pitch misses here it's ball four and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the night now back to the top of the Mets order digging in Ahmed Rosario a couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon the two one Line to the right side and they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second a double play striding in once again J.D. Davis he's working on a one for three thus far the one one bases are empty here with two men out. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now back, number four. Standing in now, Jeff McNeil. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hard hit to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Jerry Spermilia is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Digging in once again, Ryan Zimmerman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. in the air out to center field waiting on it is Nimmo looks it into his glove and there's one gone ready once again Kurt Suzuki he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here yeah he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat but I got to think they're going to pitch him up maybe elevate something in the zone interested to see how he approaches this next AB. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Kurt Suzuki becomes out number two in the bottom of the ninth. Ready with the one and one. Hard ground ball to third. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. Six to two, the final total today. New York posted four runs in the eighth on the way to victory. Brad Brock claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets: six runs, nine hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Nationals, two runs on five hits, two errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and four minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please. Drive home safely.